Hello, uh, my name is Ono. I'm one of the leaders here at Emmanuel, and I am doing a devotion for today, uh, John 7, verses 31 to 53. I want to focus at the beginning of that particular passage. What's just gone on is Jesus has performed a series of miracles, and uh, the people around him are saying, Wow, okay, surely this person must be the Christ. He must be the Messiah that is sent. And then it says that the Pharisees had gone over to arrest him. But Jesus said to those officers that were about to arrest him, Where I am going, you cannot come. I will be with you a little longer, but then I will go away. You will seek me, but you won't find me because where I am, you can't come. Which is crazy. And I think that should really start to ask a series of questions. Uh, firstly, where is he going? Secondly, why couldn't they go? Thirdly, how do we get there? Yeah. And I think firstly, we know where he is going. He is going to be with the Father. The great thing about Jesus is he actually led us to be in relationship with the Father. Uh, God actually says of himself, or Paul says of God, uh, keep yourselves free from the love of money and be content with what you have. For he has promised, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I think here Paul has come to an understanding that having the father is of the greatest value that exists anywhere, even beyond monetary value. So it's always better to have the father. And we know that we are going to be with the Father. That's where we want to be. Now, the second thing is, why were they not accepted? Jesus had just performed a series of miracles and he had done so much around them to show them who he was. And they still chose to reject him and to not believe in him. The Bible says that the invisible attributes of God, namely his divine power and eternal power, have been made visible by the things that are seen. So they are without excuse. Jesus has clearly revealed himself to these people and still they chose to not believe. How great a hope we have who have believed. We will be able to go where Jesus is going and we will be able to find him. When we seek him, we will be able to find him. It's an incredible hope that we have in Jesus that where he goes to be with the Father, we will also have that too for eternity. Even though we we may disappear from this earth, we will always be with the Father for eternity. Just like Jesus, though he disappeared from the earth, he was with the Father for eternity. But that also means that those who don't believe, they may seek him, they will not be able to find him because they did not believe in him. So it's us to be able to show as much of Christ to um, whoever doesn't know Jesus as much as possible. We've got to continue to show love, continue to pray for miracles and to continue to speak the words of the Father to those who are willing to listen. Because where uh, the world is going, as the Bible puts it, uh, they won't be able to find the Father. They won't be able to find Jesus no matter how much they look. Be blessed and let this encourage you to really just thank God and, and just enjoy, even revel in the fact that we are saved uh, forever. But also the conviction of, oh, wow, my neighbor, he doesn't know Jesus and my friends, my family, they don't know Jesus. So I'm going to continue to pray for them. See you tomorrow for the next devotion.